Asus has always been keen on experimenting with its VivoBook brand. Their latest effort is called the VivoBook Pro 16X OLED. Unsurprisingly, the pinnacle of their engineering lies within the display options, as it offers a 16-inch 16 to 10 OLED unit with a 4K Plus resolution. Why is it so special? Well, you get all of the benefits of OLED, like true blacks and infinite contrast ratio, but in addition to that, you are treated to a 100% DCI-P3 coverage, which means that it can show much more colors than most of the displays on the market. Stay with us to see more about it. First, let's take a look at the exterior. The 16X comes in an aluminum outfit that weighs less than 2 kilos and is about 19 millimeters thick. The build quality is good and we were rather happy with the features. There's a webcam shield for instant and full privacy. The keyboard has a backlight and is comfortable to use. The power button has a fingerprint reader on top of it, and the touchpad sports a virtual knob called Dialpad. It could be a godsend for content creators thanks to its built-in support for the Adobe Creative Cloud products. It allows you to scrub through the timeline of the video you're editing, select the size of your brush, or do other useful tasks boosting your productivity. The VivoBook Pro 16X has a USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 supporting power delivery and display port. Same as its smaller brother, the 14X, there are also three USB Type-A's. One of them is a 3.2 Gen 1, while the other two are 2.0. You also get a micro SD card slot, HDMI connector, and an audio jack. The memory here is soldered to the motherboard, so it's best to carefully choose its size based on your needs. You can configure the device with up to 32GB of DDR4 RAM, which works in dual channel, so that should be enough for basically anything you might need. Also, there is an M.2 slot for storage, but the big surprise here is the huge 96 watt hour battery pack. Stay with us to see its endurance, it's worth it. The display of this laptop is exceptional. As we said, it offers infinite contrast as each individual pixel turns off to display true black color when needed. Additionally, the viewing angles are great and we were impressed by the full DCI-P3 coverage of the panel. That's the digital cinema standard, so the screen is great not just for photo but for video editing too. Also, you get blazingly quick pixel response times besides the 90Hz refresh rate. Yep, the image looks smooth. Frankly, 4K displays have always been a huge burden to the battery. Here comes the enormous 96 watt hour unit of the VivoBook Pro, which got us nearly 18 hours of web browsing or 11 hours of video playback, which is an unprecedented result. Great work! We got the Intel version of this laptop, and it features up to a Core i7-11370H, and a 50 watt RTX 3050 Ti. But you can also get a configuration with Ryzen 7 or even the super powerful Ryzen 9 5900HX. If Amaru gets the shield, he'll remake the world as he sees fit. That can't happen. Our laptop has the RTX 3050 with 50 watts of TGP, and it performs pretty well. Playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider with 60 FPS at high settings and 1080p resolution is not an issue with this one. Since this laptop is aimed at content creators, it is very important for apps like Photoshop that the CPU can reach high frequencies. And guess what? You can reap the benefits since the Core i7-11370 here easily reaches 4GHz in short bursts and gets close to it during sustained load thanks to the dual fan cooling system. Also, the external temperatures remain in check, with the hottest point of the keyboard maintaining pretty much the same temperature as the human body. To wrap this up, this device has enough performance to drive all of your content creating needs. Moreover, the 35 watt Tiger Lake CPUs offer great efficiency, which is reflected in the battery life. No, browsing the web for 18 hours straight won't be an issue with the VivoBook Pro 16X, and the OLED display makes the visual experience so much better. We hope that more and more notebooks will follow that trend.